Hello guys, welcome to Michelin News UPSC. From today onwards, we will be dealing with climate. Okay, in climate, what is the basic thing you need to know? Because climate runs with so much of air, right? For that air, that is air movement, wind, we need pressure, pressure gradient, right? Unless then air, air will, doesn't move, right? Suppose low pressure and low pressure, air will move, up, no, right? Similarly, we need to know how wind moves for that we need to know pressure so everything is interlinked suppose if you know how wind moves then you will able to understand this climate okay let us go into this pressure system first what is air air is mixture of gases Okay, what is the highest gas? That is nitrogen. Then after oxygen. Then after organ or carbon dioxide. Organ. Remember this thing. Okay, here only people make mistake. Okay, that is not carbon dioxide. It is organ is the third highest in the atmosphere. Okay, then what is wind? Wind is nothing but movement of air. Okay, how does this movement? happen suppose for movement of water what does it need high altitude and low altitude similarly even for for uh, air we need high pressure and low pressure okay for movement this movement is called wind okay. let us go into how this high pressure and low pressure is created This simple thing okay don't worry first let us take a ground don't uh, this pitch see this picture and uh, start with this thing I will start with completely simple first there is a Sun okay first this is the thing happened process happened due to this Sun air near the ground got heated okay due to heating what happens to if any gas uh, heats its energy it tries to expand that gas atoms tries to expand right similarly due to this insulation all those air gas present here try to expand it move up rising to a low pressure if 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 any air is there that means there is high pressure if there is no air then that is low pressure so all the air is going upward that means it is creating low pressure here if here it is creating low pressure then what it will create here it is high pressure and uh, this wind is even carrying vapors water vapor from ground right whole thing will become cloudish Suppose here it is uh, is LP okay low pressure. There is no thing right. There will be only one LP and one HP right. If here LP is forming some other place, there might be a low pressure. From this you can un understand that a possibility is there from high pressure to low pressure a wind uh, air movement right. So from high pressure wind will move to low pressure creating air like this okay so if this is the high pressure some from some place it must got its air right so from upward the air has pressure this area so it creates low pressure so if there is a vacuum got uh, created here right that is low pressure so a air from high pressure try to occupy this low pressure so movement is taking place so like this this cycle continues this is result in a circulation here i'm just explaining simply but the climate is a very complex thing there are so many hurdles in between them a few things like a 
मोमेंट ऑफ आई मीन रेवल्यूशन ऑफ अर्थ रिजल्टिंग इन इंसुलेशन डिफरेंस राइट ऑन सम डेज इंसुलेशन विल बी हाई ऑन इक्वेटर ऑन सम डेज इट विल बी ऑन सम सीजन इट विल बी ऑन ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर इन दैट वे इट विल बी डिफरेंस दैट विल बी मेकिंग ए डिफरेंस ओके दिस इज अ सिंपल थिंग फ्रॉम दिस यू वॉट डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड एट लो प्रेजर एयर राइजेस एट हाई प्रेजर एयर सिंक्स ओके एंड इवन दिस कैन बी सेड दिस राइजिंग कैन बी सेड इन अदर थिंग हाउ रेसी फर्स्ट सी एयर इज राइजिंग इन लो प्रेजर एयर इज सिंकिंग इन ओके सिंकिंग इन हाई प्रेजर राइजिंग इन लो प्रेजर सी मॉइस्ट वॉर एयर राइजेस एंड कूल डाउन सीयर ओके फॉर्मिंग क्लाउड्स next here here is a bright sun that is the reason have you ever seen that uh, during winters that is lot of uh, clear sky clear sky right that is due to high pressure okay in uh, summers in evening what will happen uh, suddenly there will be a clouds and uh, there will be a uh, cumulonimbus uh, clouds will be occupying the sky and uh, there will be a sudden rainfall that is due to this thing this effect okay those are uh, whatever the rainfall happening in summer before monsoon those are pre monsoon rains okay or or they are conventional conventional drip due to heating of the land okay this this will we will be covering in our upcoming classes okay you, did you understand this thing right means at low pressure there will be a convergence 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 in high pressure there will be a divergence and sinking of air sinking of air is lp right that is simple did you understand right divergence in because they will be at some in textbook what they will be doing is they will be either using convergence or else arising for low pressure You you should you will be confusing for that. So for that means you will be seeing that here convergence is happening. No, you should be seeing from here where which place it is happening. Here it is happening divergence or sinking of air. Okay, simple thing completed. This is a basic thing you have to understand. Okay, so simple right? I told you in winters a clear sky will be there. That means that indicates high pressure. in winters uh, in summer you will find right in the evening cloudy rains that is due to low pressure that indicates uh, suddenly there will be high wind coming from all the sides in summer right in the evening around 4 o'clock when you are standing some wind will be attacking you right from all ends that is due to some low pressure has created means that indicates rainfall okay. so we found that from low pressure high pressure is creating from there low pressure is creating and high pressure okay this has become a cycle circulation is happening right this is, this became a cell tomorrow we will be discussing completely about what is hardly cell neural cell and polar cell now you got all these pressure system right this will be a very simple task for you tomorrow tomorrow to understand these things and from there we will go to global wind systems circulation that is uh, what are easterlies westerlies these are even easier because you, you will get you, you already know how what is this uh, low pressure and high pressure how wind wind moves right wind will move like this sorry like this like this completely wind wind will move in that manner tomorrow we will be understanding these things okay last question from my end
I told you right. So this is equator. Here high insulation is happening. So which pressure will create here? What kind of pressure will get created here? Or low pressure. Cold place. Cold place. Why don't we take poles? So in poles what kind of pressure will get created? That is high pressure. Remember these things. Because tomorrow you will be using these things. Because high heating is happening in equator, so low pressure. You try to connect this thing. Heating, low pressure. Similarly, try to apply this to this real life condition. Then you will understand how low pressure and high pressure is working. Thank you guys. Hope you love this video. Tomorrow we are going to start this Hadley Ferrell and Porter cells. Thank you. All the best.